Good evening. This is All India Radio. I am Sarah Mujtaba with the news at 9. The headlines Center approves national quantum mission to scale up scientific and industrial R&D in quantum technology allocates over 6000 crore rupees Government to bring cinematograph amendment bill 2023 to check piracy in film industry Defense minister Rajnath Singh asserts Indian army capable of dealing with any contingency along northern borders in view of current situation addresses by annual army commanders conference in new delhi united nations to withdraw from afghanistan in view of taliban's restrictions on women and in ipl cricket match between rajasthan royals and lucknow super giants at savai man singh stadium underway in jaipur and now the news in detail The center has approved the national quantum mission to accelerate quantum technology led economic growth and leverage India into a leading nation in the sector. A decision in this regard was taken at a union cabinet meeting in New Delhi today. Addressing media after the meeting, Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Singh Thakur said that the quantum mission has been approved at a total cost of over 6000 crore rupees for the period from 2023-24. to 2030-31 national quantum mission ke liye manjuri adne modi ji ki sarkar ne di hai unki adhyakshta mein cabinet mili 6003 crore rupaye ka iska budget ka pravdhan kiya gaya hai is pe kul milakar lagat aayegi 2023-24 se 2030-31 tak ka iska samay seema hai aur ye desh ko nayi unchaiyon par le jane wala ek aisa nirnay hai jo ek bar phir pradhan mantri modi ji ke netritv mein hua Elaborating more on the National Quantum Mission, Union Minister for Science and Technology Dr. Jitendra Singh said that the mission will give India a quantum jump in the world arena. He added that there are at present six countries including the US, Canada and France which are having quantum technology. This National Quantum Mission is going to give India a quantum jump in the world arena. There are only six countries so far who have this uh, technology means they are uh, Finland, Austria, France they are also in the r&d stage none of them has actually started the application of it and therefore we are also going to be at par the mission would greatly benefit communication health financial and energy sectors as well as drug design and space applications it will provide a huge boost to national priorities like digital india make in india skill india and stand up india start up india self reliant india and sustainable development goals or sdgs The aim of the mission is to seed, nurture and scale up scientific and industrial research and development and create a vibrant and innovative ecosystem in quantum technology. The government has decided to bring the cinematograph amendment bill 2023 to check piracy in the film industry. The union cabinet today cleared a proposal in this regard. Briefing media in New Delhi, Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Singh Thakur said The bill will be brought before parliament in the upcoming session. He said it is to ensure that the film content does not suffer due to piracy as the menace causes heavy loss to the industry. Bharatiya film jagat chahe with the elephant whispers small documentary ke naate kyon na lekin ek bada naam kamaya hai. RRR film badi regional se international hui ho ye natu natu ki doom ho ye bharatiya content ke karan hua hai. To piracy se inko nuksan na ho cinematograph act jo hai us disha mein banaya gaya hai. Zyada charcha uski jab parliament satra hoga tab aayega lekin ek bahut krantikari kadam aaj us disha mein uthaya gaya hai jisse pure film jagat ko bahut labh milne wala hai. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has expressed confidence that the Indian Army is capable of dealing with any contingency along the northern borders in view of the current situation. Without naming China, he however said that the ongoing talks for peaceful resolution will continue and disengagement and de-escalation are the best way forward. Mr Singh stated this while addressing the ongoing first edition of the biannual Army Commanders Conference in New Delhi today. He said that the Indian Army has played a stellar role in guarding the country's borders and fighting terrorism apart from providing assistance to civil administration. The minister complimented the efforts of the Border Roads Organisation 
which has led to major improvement of road communication in the borders of both western and northern regions. Union Home Minister Amit Shah stressed on the need to move forward with the bottom-to-top and top-to-bottom approach to destroy the entire network of narcotics. He said that in a few selected interstate and international cases, these approaches should be developed by giving them to Narcotics Control Bureau or NCB for proper investigation. The Home Minister stated this while addressing the first national conference of heads of anti-narcotics task force of states and union territories in New Delhi today. He emphasized that the main objective of the anti-narcotics task force and this conference is solution-oriented thinking. He added that the government has also constituted a joint coordination committee to take all stakeholders together in the fight against drugs. In his address, Mr. Shah said that under the guidance of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, we are committed to building a drug-free India by 2047. Principal Secretary to Prime Minister Dr. P.K. Mishra today chaired a high-level meeting to assess the COVID-19 situation in the country in view of the rise in COVID cases. The meeting took stock of the status of preparedness of health infrastructure and logistics, drugs, vaccination campaign and key necessary steps. The meeting was attended by Cabinet Secretary Rajiv Gauba, Member Niti Ayog Dr. Vinod Paul, Secretary Health and Family Welfare Rajesh Bhushan and Secretary Information and Broadcasting Apurva Chandra among others. The 100th G20 meeting under India's G20 Presidency, the meeting of Agricultural Chief Scientist or MACS on Sustainable Agriculture and Food System for Healthy People and Planet, concluded successfully at Varanasi today. They unanimously agreed to launch a millet initiative, Maharishi, which was proposed by India for research in the field of millets. The meeting adopted a chair summary come outcome document focusing on major areas of cooperation in agricultural research and development for food security and nutrition, digital agriculture, resilient agri-food systems and public-private partnership in agricultural R&D. On the sidelines of G20 MACS, bilateral meetings were held with France, UK, Argentina and Germany for future collaboration in agriculture research. A bilateral meeting was also held with Food and Agriculture Organization at Rome in Italy. On the first day of the two-day G20 conference on Research, Innovation and Initiatives Assembly, RIIG, on eco-innovations for energy transition in Dharamshala today, deliberations were held on sharing best practices and policy models of G20 countries for sustainable energy transition. Secretary of the Department of Science and Technology, Dr. Srivari Chandrasekhar, presided over the meeting. In Karnataka, many senior leaders filed their nominations today for the 10th of May Assembly elections. Tomorrow is the last day for filing of nominations. Chief Minister Basavaraj Bombay today filed his nomination papers from Shikgaon's seat after holding a roadshow. Former Chief Minister and Congress leader Siddharamaya filed his nomination from Varuna. Jagadi Shetar filed his nomination from Hubali, Dharwar Central Constituency. Meanwhile, JDS has released its third and fourth list of 66 candidates. The BJP has declared its candidates on all seats while the final list of two candidates. Our correspondent reports that most of the parties have declared their list of star campaigners. Both BJP and Congress have issued the list of their star campaigners. In the BJP's list of 40 names, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and BJP National President J.P. Nadda's names are most prominent. Apart from these senior leaders of the party, Amit Shah, Rajnath Singh, Chief Ministers of BJP-ruled states and prominent faces of the state BJP are also included in the list of star campaigners of Congress, National President Mallika Arjun Kharge, senior leaders. Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi, former Chief Minister Siddharamaiya are included. H.D. Kumar Swami is leading the election campaign for Janata Dal Secular. The election campaign of Ahmadmi Party will be led by Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Man with Sudindra Jitendra Divedi, AIR News, Bengaluru. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. Welcome back. All India Radio is presenting a vignette of select quotes of Prime Minister Narendra Modi from Monkey Bath as the program completes its 100th episode in April this year. Today, in the 72nd episode of this special program, let's listen to the Prime Minister who said, 
The Indian youth have the attitude and dedication which can take the country to greater heights. People, voice and direct dialogue. That's your and our Man Ki Baat. Yes, this is how our Prime Minister connects with millions of countrymen. With the program Man Ki Baat, aired on the last Sunday of every month on All India Radio. This series, which started on October 3rd, 2014, will complete its 100th episode in April 2023. In the 72nd episode of this special program, let's listen to those excerpts in which the Prime Minister expressed his faith in the youth of India. According to a report issued by the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, the youth population of India is over 371.1 million. Overall, the youth of India is a dynamic and engaged group that holds the key to advancement and is making a significant impact not just in their own country but the entire world to an extent. In the Man Ki Baat program broadcast on 27th December 2020, the Prime Minister expressed his confidence in the youth of India by saying, जुनून और दृढ़ निश्चय ऐसी दो चीजें हैं जिनसे लोग हर लक्ष्य प्राप्त कर सकते हैं जब मैं भारत के युवाओं को देखता हूं तो खुद को आनंदित और आश्वस्त महसूस करता हूं आनंदित और आश्वस्त इसलिए क्योंकि मेरे देश के युवाओं में कैन डू की अप्रोच है और विल डू की स्पिरिट है उनके लिए कोई भी चुनौती बड़ी नहीं है कुछ भी उनकी पहुंच से दूर नहीं है एंड प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी टुडे शेयर एन आर्टिकल रिटर्न बाय वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द एथलेटिक्स फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया अंजू बॉबी जॉर्ज रिगार्डिंग मन की बात डिवेलपिंग एज अ प्लेटफॉर्म टू सेलिब्रेट द स्पोर्ट्स अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ द नेशन In the article she wrote how Man Ki Baat has become a platform where the country's achievement on the sports front are brought to light. In some more news the National Human Rights Commission today issued a notice to the Bihar government over the recent huge tragedy incident in the state taking so much cognizance of a major report on several deaths due to the consumption of spurious liquor in various districts of Bihar the commission has sought a detailed report from the state chief secretary and the director general of police on the matter within 6 weeks the united nations has said it is ready to withdraw from afghanistan in may if it cannot convince the taliban to permit local women to work for the organization said the head of the un development program undp the un warned the taliban that the life saving aid would be at risk without the female staff since most of the international organization staff are female International organizations including the UN have repeatedly expressed their concerns over excluding women from the aid sector saying that without the female staff the organizations will be unable to reach needy women The Indian Meteorological Department IMD has forecast that heat wave conditions are likely to continue over East India during the next 3 days and abate thereafter It said heat wave conditions are likely over Bihar West Bengal Odisha and Jharkhand Maximum temperatures were in the range of 40 to 44 degrees Celsius over most parts of central and east India. Heat wave conditions are prevailing in isolated pockets over West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Punjab and Haryana for the last one week. And in IPL cricket Lucknow Super Giants have set a victory target of 155 runs for Rajasthan Royals at Sawai Mansingh Stadium in Jaipur. Lucknow Super Giants scored 154 runs for the loss of 7 wickets in the stipulated 20 overs. Earlier Rajasthan won the toss and elected to field. And now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again. Center approves national quantum mission to scale up scientific and industrial R&D in quantum technology allocates over 6000 crore rupees. Government to bring cinematograph amendment bill 2023 to check piracy in film industry. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh asserts Indian army capable of dealing with any contingency along northern borders in view of current situation. UN to withdraw from Afghanistan in view of Taliban's restrictions on women and in IPL cricket Lucknow Super Giants set a victory target of 155 runs for Rajasthan Royals in Jaipur that's all in the news at 9 good night <laughs>